so this is Casey. She's one of our senior skincare students and she's demonstrating a microdermabrasion facial for us tonight. So Casey, how should someone prepare for a microdermabrasion treatment? There's not much preparation that really needs to be done for a microderm. Um, the only thing that we ask um, for your sake is just to avoid any type of retinols, alpha hydroxy acids, um, stay out of the sun for at least 48 hours and waxing to avoid it for at least 48 hours before your treatment just so that your skin um, isn't too sensitive for the treatment. But other than that, there's not a lot of prep that needs to be done. How long does the typical service last? So um, the typical service itself, just the microderm abrasion, would be about 15 minutes or so. Um, it is an hour long facial that you get with the microderm using all dermalogic um, products. What does it feel like to the client? Um, it kind of feels like cat scratch, kind of like, like um, a little bit gritty. It's not really that painful. Um, everybody's different, but most people say that it's pretty, pretty not, not too uncomfortable. Typically, how will um, your client's skin look like after a treatment? What can a client expect? So, the client can expect to have an immediate glow after the treatment, because um, you're removing all those dead skin cells. So, their skin will definitely be nice and glowy and fresh and smooth. Um, now there is a chance of a slight arrhythmia, which is just a little pink redness to the skin. Um, that's t totally normal. It really depends on how sensitive your skin is. Some people will experience mild redness. Some people won't experience redness at all. Who should look into microdermabrasion? Um, microdermabrasion is good for any skin type, um, especially clients that have, you know, the clogged pores, dead skin. Um, Patients that have acne, they're really good for sucking up all those um, excessive oils. Um, it's also good for clients that have aging skin because it helps with fine lines, wrinkles. It can also help with pigmentation for clients that have sun damage. Um, but it really is good for any skin type. Okay, and tell me about this technique that you're doing. So what I'm doing is I'm using a diamond tip and a little suction. So what this does, it goes over the skin and it exfoliates. So it sloughs off all that dead skin and it sucks it up into a little vacuum. And then the dead skin goes away. <laughs> so who, who would not be a good candidate for microdermabrasion? Um, somebody that wouldn't be a good candidate would maybe be somebody that is taking medications for acne, like Accutane um, or any type of medication that is going to make your skin hypersensitized just because it, it really will do more damage than good to your to your skin. So you definitely want to avoid those types of medications prior to getting a microdermabrasion. Okay. Alright. Thanks. Anything Thanks. else we need to know about microderm? Um, come in and get one. You'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>